How's my favorite girl? We need a picture of Grace. Her pa thinks she's holed up with some guy. He don't believe we got her. Will you do it? I'm still upset. So I'm a portrait photographer now, am I? Okay, I'll send you it on my phone. Missing me? Look up here. Ah! Smile for your daddy, Grace. Fuck you! <laughs> uh, I, I can't. Have fun out there. Uh. Not unless that guy is into some sick shit. Later on, Becky. Nikki, I hear you and the Irish have got your hands on Ancelotti's daughter. What's it to you? It wouldn't be nothing, except I know that Ancelotti ain't gonna pay up. It's her pal, Gay Tony, that's coughing up with my damn ice. Diamonds that got robbed off you and the Libertonian? Well, we took it off Tony in the first place, but it should have ended there. He must have robbed the diamonds off of Isaac. I got the money robbed off of me by a biker, remember? The diamonds were sold. Don't get small with me. Get me them diamonds off Tony. Irish will be square with that, and you'll be square with me. We're already square. Fuck your mother, buddy. How you doing? Okay. That's nice. That's real nice. <laughs> hey, I remember you. You're the comrade guy. The guy with all the jokes. Oh, yeah. How time flies when you're having fun. Right. And you're definitely having a lot of fun. No doubt. Listen, dude, you want to make a quick buck? <clears throat> Come with me. I got something to show you. We need a car or something. Take me over to Masterson Street. So what are you showing me? Dude, this is meant to be the biggest rock in the world. These guys are fucking scientists. Things meant to be bigger than my fist, bigger than a melon. Fucking genius. Gonna last me weeks. Sure it will. Bidding war was fierce, dude, like being on the trading floor. Yeah, I'm hot. Wait here while I make the deal, dude. Let's hope this thing isn't too heavy for me to carry by myself. Sick. Yo, Mr. Bankerman. This is a real sound investment you're making. A good use of your assets and shit. Most deaf. Dude, take me over to Wappinger and Harden. Get it? Yeah, but this ain't no rock. It's a fucking boulder! The 
This shit's gonna blast me to the moon! Oh, what's that film where that guy is on a mountain and he gets chased by that huge uh, boulder? I don't know. Oh, shit, dude, I should remember this. Anyway, that's how I'm gonna feel when this shit's chasing me around my head? Whoa, fuck him, Whoa! This your place? Yeah, sorta. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Here's some dollar, appreciate the ride. Comrades! Excuse me? Didn't I see you at Comrades, pal? Where? That bar. Mickey's place. I'm sure you was one of those cubby bastards used to come in there. I remember you. Yes, you were the drunk guy who fell over. <laughs> That's about right. I was a mess. A mess. But I'm all sorted out now. I'm over that shit. Good for you. Yeah. Yes, sorry. I'm a new man, not dependent on anything. No more drink, no drugs, even gave up hookers. Everything. Good. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> it's good to share. Cool. <laughs> I'm a positive person now. Positive. I'm through with problems. Now they are just opportunities. Well, good luck with your opportunities. I've got to go. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I know this is a lot to ask, but I, I was wondering. I owe a guy some money for my drinking days. And he's kind of angry. I, I don't suppose you could come along and uh, keep him cool. I'm going to pay him back. Please? OK. Uh -huh. They're just off Montauk in an alley. You'd be amazed by the things I've been doing since I cleaned up. I'm waking up before dawn, for Christ's sake. Obviously, the DTs hit me pretty hard when I first got sober. I bet they did. Shit, I couldn't hold a glass of water without spilling it all over myself. And you should have seen the can after I was done with it. Oh, like the fucking sprinkler had gone off. Dry now, though. Dry as a bone. This is where they should be. Can you clear things up with him? Don't worry. I'll make sure everything's cool. And we're here to pay back the money my friend here owed you. He doesn't want no trouble. You think money's gonna do it? Do you, Mel? Can't you remember coming over to my place, throwing the TV out the window, pissing all over my couch? Slumber will kick me out on the street. You got a lot of debt to pay, Mel. Damn those blood! You don't need to worry about those guys no more. Can you take me back to where we were before? Oh, boy! That shook me up, man. The stress was too much. How am I going to cope out here? Who knows what I did when I was on the sauce? You'll be okay. Just chill out. Yeah, you're right. Just chill out. Maybe just one drink would calm my nerves. That's not what I meant, friend. That stuff is what got you here in the first place. Sure, sure. Yeah. Serenity. Be smart, friend. Positive! That's me! Here's the roll I was gonna give that lunch shark. Uh, maybe I'll keep a ten spot for myself, though. Who knows what I'll need? So long. Be serene.
Hey. Nico! It's me, Hosan! Hosan! How are you? Wow, man! It's good to see you. Ah, uh, you too. So you stayed. Yes, <laughs> and you, did you meet your cousin? Yes, uh, things have been complicated. How about you? Uh, <laughs> Non-stop madness! <laughs> Brilliant! I have met a lot of lunatics and life is wild. My friend's uncle gave me a job uh, selling handbags. Knockoffs, you know. Sure. It's so easy! <laughs> uh, easier than working on the goddamn <laughs> boat, anyway. <laughs> and women, they love you. Man, after three months on that ship, Let's just say I was not cut out for the sailor's life. <laughs> ah, shit. It's good to see you. You too. Hey, Hosan speaking. Uh, yes, I'm on my way. Nico, hey, what are you up to? Nothing too urgent. Hey, uh, why don't you walk with me? I've got to go collect some money. Okay, sure. Great. I think we need a vehicle. This guy's just over on Castle Drive. What are you up to, Nico? This and that. I make money how I can. It's hard for us without visas. People don't want to treat us good. Amount of times I've done a job and then got stiffed for my pay, shit! I can't even count them. Yeah, the immigrants is the slave class in this country. Working for nothing, but the whole place would be shut down without them. I've been screwed over by a few employers as well. Yeah? But the fun you can have in this city <laughs> is worth it. All right, here's where he said he'd meet me. Wait here. Hey man, you got that money. I've been waiting a while. I forgot to ask. You got a visa? I ain't giving good American currency to an illegal. <laughs> Shit! He's got all my back pay! Can you get him? I'm sick of punks like this screwing over hard workers. Because their grandfather got off the boat here, not them. Hey man, that's the way the city works. Scumbags can do what they like to us. We're at the bottom of the pile. Shit! He's getting a good lead! You have my back pay! <laughs> Nico, you're a true friend. Can you drop me in the alleyway between Feldspar and Garnet? These people, they're all the same. You should work for yourself. There ain't no point in getting screwed over by every chump in Liberty City. Yeah, man. Maybe I should. I got some money. I could buy a load of handbags. Sell them myself. Sounds like a good plan. It would be, as long as I don't give them all to the first woman who gets into bed with me. <laughs> Nico! You're amazing! A fucking savior! This was one more wild trip in Liberty City. <laughs> Made me think I should settle down, though. Get that dog we talked about. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Here's some of my pay. Call it the stuff I'm not giving to the tax man. See you around, Nico. Thanks, man. You didn't have to do this, but thanks. Salve! This is Jimmy Pecorino. 
us phone. Leave a message. Yeah? I'm here to see Mr. Pecorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg! What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem, and you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me, I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pegorino. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss, salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere, like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses will be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Vados wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offering, bro, Skip? They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that. God, give me strength. It's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, 
What are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The Manos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully, they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, huh, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. Commission knew they did this. I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers trying to whack me at a sit down. They're trying to make off with my tribute. The fucking nerve. We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico. All right, let's get these slime ball bastards. People like us give Italians a bad day. Whatever happened to the honor society and all that shit? Can't say I know. They didn't even send a fucking combo. This is a declaration of war. The Pagarinos and the Pavanos are hitting the mattresses. You heard it here first. I saw it through the scope on that rifle. We're gonna get that gift back and make this crew pay for their disrespect. Come on!
and make those pricks pay! Oh shit! Nico, go! I'm staying here nursing my fucking wound! Ooh. Here you go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. I can't believe that Pavanos will treat me like this! The Pegarino name should mean something to them! It means something in Alderney! Even if it don't in Algonquin! They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders! Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh yeah! Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad! They knew what they were signed on for! Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't! Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos, having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. I need your car, mister. I say, what, what do you think you're doing? Nico, my cousin, give me some tales of the Liberty City underworld. I'm curious. Maybe if you give me tales of a womanizing gambling addict. That's <laughs> a low blow in me. Seriously, what are you up to at the moment? I've been working for Jimmy Pegorino, the head of that Alderney Guido family. Yeah, the head of the family. Is he a big-time gangster like in the movies then? Wants to be. Keeps talking about being powerful, about getting on the commission with the five big families. I just hope he's got enough power to be able to find Darko Brevich for me. I hope you'll be able to relax when you do finally find him, Nico. Speak soon. He's got work. He pays. That's about it. Yeah? Well, remember who made the introduction. Remember who brought you in. Don't you forget about me. Maybe you want to pass something up to me. Pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. I don't buy into that tribute stuff. This work has many disadvantages, but uh, hey, at least it's tax-free. Hey there, pal. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you doing out here so late? What's it to you? Nothing. Just trying to make conversation. Just trying to keep the loneliness at bay. You know, 
Whatever you say. Hey, uh, you're not from around here, are you? No, I'm from Florida. <laughs> you're funny. You're a real joker. I knew a joker once. Lovely guy. Came to a rather unfortunate end, though. But I suppose we all do. In the end. Okay. Wait, 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 mister. Um, do you ever wonder, do you ever wonder if animals, they masturbate? Okay, listen, friend, you're really creeping me out. No, it's a silly question. I know, silly question. It's just I was wondering, because maybe that's what makes us different uh, from the animals. I mean, masturbating, because it turns out we don't have souls, and animals use tools and all that kind of thing, so maybe it's the masturbating. Maybe that's God's real gift to us. Okay, I'd really like to get back to planet Earth, so maybe I'll see no, you No, wait, later. wait a minute, mister. I'm sorry. I'm strange. I'm a weird guy. I know. <laughs> Hey, hey, do you have a car? Can you get one? Why? Because I have this rather heavy bag, and I really need a lift. I can pay you. <sighs> okay, okay. Thanks. I'm Eddie, by the way. Eddie Lowe. Yes, uh, fine. Come on. Hey, friend. This, this bag is awful heavy. You mind taking us down to the docks? Calculating route. Please make a U-turn, we're safe. You got the shit to catch. You going somewhere? I'm not going anywhere. My friends are, though. They're heading off. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Joke? Joke? Eddie never jokes. Eddie needs to be taken seriously. They laughed at him once. But you can't laugh without a tongue. You can't point if you haven't got fingers, can you? That's what Daddy told me, late at night, in my room. Easy there, buddy. We're friends, aren't we? We can talk to one another, share things. Spill your guts. Ew! I don't like doing that. It's smelly. I'm kidding. Isn't the world strange and nasty? I mean, a girl looks at you, but it turns out she no, doesn't no, love you at all. Enough. It turns out she's a whore. You're kind of a strange guy, Eddie. Cool. Have you ever considered psychotherapy? You've got issues. My only issue is I don't accept the world's bullshit. Okay. Catch you later. Wait here for me, friend. Special friend. I'm just dropping the kids off. Glad I got rid of that. Wouldn't want to get caught with it. People can be so narrow-minded. Can, can you take me to Westminster? In Avon Yards. I like Westminster. Lots of nice boys there. It's one of my honey grounds. Never gets you off, friend. Yeah, I like boys. I like girls, too. Both well, are fun in different ways, the same ways as well. We're all the same under those layers of hair and skin and fat. Everyone's got the same rotten livers and black hearts underneath it all. Sure. You should visit planet Earth sometime. Where are you from, pal of mine? What's your accent? Are you from uh, East Europe? Romania? Bulgaria? Balkans? Hey, you're a smart guy. Eddie's smart. Eddie's real smart. They always told him that. Eddie, you're smart. Why don't you play with the other kids? Don't touch him like that, Eddie. Stop it, Eddie. Stop it. Yeah, stop it, Eddie, please. <laughs> Your accent's funny. You know that you can hear accents when people scream? I can tell what borough people are from just by hearing them scream. I've heard enough Alderney accents tonight. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I want to hear some nice, rounded, Algonquin voices. Please stop! <laughs> Please stop it! D do you see? 
that? You're making me a little uncomfortable, Eddie. I hope you're joking. I'm sorry, pal. Of course I'm joking. Do you think that I'm weird? Please. I'm just a no-bullshit kind of guy. So, so, what's your name? And what do you do? Huh? Those are normal questions. Nico Bellic. And I do what I can to survive. To get by. That's cryptic. Things must be difficult for you. Do you hurt other people, Nico? If they get in my way. I wouldn't want to get in your way, Nico. I wouldn't want you to get in mine either. Oh, we're good friends now, uh huh? Special friends. Here we are. Eddie's off to hunt for a nice boy. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, friend. I'll see you later, man eater. Excuse me, I didn't see you. Uh... Hey, uh, how you doing? Good. Hey, you remember me? Uh... Uh, you do, huh? Yeah, you took those photos of my wife. Yeah. My late wife. Yes, I remember you. Yeah, yeah, I, I owe you. Uh, Jeff owes you. Uh, Jeff and you, you know, buddies, pals, yeah? Uh, we've been through some shit together, didn't we? I don't know about I, that. That's why I feel I can tell you things. Please, yeah. don't. Well, you know, life hasn't always been kind. My mom, you know, she left my dad. And my dad... Very well, fucking interesting. I need a fucking friend, man. My life is hell, all right? Or, oh, I got married again. Yeah, yeah. That's right. She's a nice girl. Or so I thought. Here we go. She's up there right now. She's having a drink with her ex. Yeah, she's touching his leg. She's getting all wet. You've got to calm down. I need you to kill her. What? I'll pay. You have to arrange. Then screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down before I give you injury. God damn you. Uh, uh, you're just like all the rest. Hello, this is the Don't you idiots care what's going on in the world? Put my CD in your deck if you want to. Plays, you's already a fan of Pathos. I knows that. Good to see you, man. Give it up. So how's the rap game? Cold, man. But that's all part of the struggle. Sure. I cut a new CD, Pathos, from suffering and back again. How cheerful. I ain't into that club shit. I got a message, and bitches better listen. You better start listening to me, bitch. What you say? You all tough when your boyfriend's around, Mr. Pathetic. You ignorant, fool. And you're a fucking fag! <laughs> now you can write some real gangster rap! Shot wounds, and I think you're going to be okay. Shit, shit. I, I better be. I ain't even begun to produce my best work. Maybe some more people will pay attention to it now that you've got some scars. Hell, you right. I don't want to go commercial or nothing, but I'm... Son, you, you don't help Pathos again. You definitely getting a note on my album sleeve. 
thanking you right after God and my mama. Get yourself stitched up. Good luck, man. You have reached United Liberty Paper Merchants. None of our operatives can come to the phone. Please leave a message. This is Phil B. Leave a message. This is Dwayne. Guess not many people got this number because nobody's calling. If you gotta hold it, leave me a message. Hey, you've reached the phone of the future Mrs. Bellick. Leave me or Roman a message and we'll get back to you.